Father God, thank you for a new day. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for your blessings. Father, I commit my mother to your hands. You know that she's all I have. Please, continue to bless her. Please perfect everything that concerns my mother's health. Amen. Amen. Amen, my daughter. Amen. Mama. Good morning. You're up. Good morning, my daughter. Oh, yes. I... I'm just driving out of my house now. Yes, I'm heading straight to the location that uh, the power will be headed to the office. Yes, so come back. Come, come on, come on. Why did I change the location? Why? It's okay. It's alright. Um, I will head there straight before I head to the office. I'm still trying to locate the place. So that they don't go back, man. But you won't go back, don't worry. You know, we always believe in God. I believe in God, Mama. We believe in God, so you don't you know. You know that's what you thought to me. We believe in God. Uh, ah. My people, my people. Hey, customer. I want a dinner. So, we do okay. Good yeah. morning. Yeah. My food's oh. fresh this morning. Well, you know now. As usual. <laughs> as usual, oh, mama. <laughs> you supposed to trust that. Oh, this one, how much? Uh, yeah. This one, 200. No, I mean the big one. Oh, the big one is 400. Okay, give me two. Then the cucumber. The co okay. One of these. So it's how much? <laughs> cucumber is 200, so your money is 1,000. Okay, yes. Yeah. Eh, no, for 400. No, your money is 1,000. After this big one is 400. Wow, this don't cost where well, we well, Everything don't cost, cost so... Well. Ah. But at least if you get the fresh one, it's better. I, be, I believe you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but it's very fresh. It's very fresh. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, Mama. Mama. See what we were just saying? We are just saying that we don't have any... I and you. look at 1,000. Hey, God hey. is so good. Mama. God, please bless us more. Hey. Bless us more. Man, you will bring more. You will... God will bring more. Hey! Go and check. Go and check whether that customer needs something. Yeah, I think I've lost my way. Oh, yes. Oh, but we need something he will horn or wind down. I know he will horn or wind down, but at least go and check. Don't behave like all those lazy people. Go and check. Rush. I don't know. Yeah, hold on. Good day, sir. Um, I'll, I'll have to call you back, okay? All right. Yeah, you say what? Please, we sell fruits and they are very fresh and sweet. Which one do you want, sir? I am not interested in your fruits. Okay, sir. Right. Uh, excuse me, please. Please, um, please. I'm looking for Adebayo Street. Adebayo Street. It's not far from here. It's not far from here. It's just you go down your right. Then at the end of the road, you take your left. That's Adebayo Street. So I'll go right. Like I'll come out from this you place. Take I'll this go right. right. Yes. Yeah. Then at the end of the road, road. you take your I'll left. I'll take my left. Yes, that's Adebayo Street, sir. Oh, Alright, so that means I've missed my way already. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Yes, so, Erica, you said what do you sell? Oh, fruits. Very fresh and sweet. There's watermelon, there's oranges, there's apple, banana, everything, and they are so good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir. Um, which of the fruits should I bring for you? Uh, no, no, no one. No one, just keep the money. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. God will bless you. Bless you. Thank too. you so much. Bless you. Too. Thank you, sir. So, alright. Thank you. Hey. Huh? Driving now. Is he not buying anything? Mama, no. He did say he's not buying anything, but he so, asked me for direction and he gave me this plenty money. 
money. He gave you the money. He gave me the money. Just like that. <gasps> that man is nice, though. Very. My dear, God bless you. Amen. Hey. Hey. Our angel. Today hey. is blessed. Hey. Just like that. Just like that. God. My daughter. Yes, mom. Now that we have this money, I'd like you to go get some new clothes for yourself. I'm gonna ekaligo most of your clothes. Acham kije guto kreka kreka polaka we pa so that you'll be changing. Oh, mama. Yes, my daughter. Why don't we put the money into the business? Let's use it to buy more things for the shop. We need more fruits, especially apples. We don't even have so much anymore. Eh? We can always use the profit that comes from that one to buy as many clothes as we want. Eh? Even you that is talking. Your medical bills, your drugs. Eh? Check up. We will always need money for those things. Oh, Mama. Please, forget about me. Um. <laughs> Mom, darling. Thank you so much. You said two good heads are better. Look at you telling me you don't need clothes that we have to buy things in the shop. Thank you so much. No, Mama. You see, when you see a, a trained child, nobody will tell you. But you see, Chupu Okika Abiyama will keep blessing you. Okay. In the near future, all these clothes, everything, it will be a thing of the past. Amen. I know, Mama. Thank you. Yeah, please stop thinking about me. Clothes are secondary. Let's just let's just buy more fruits. People have been asking of apples. Like you know, we don't have apple. Yeah, we don't. Huh? And they keep mm -hmm. asking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I want you to be strong. I will. Once we can buy your drugs in. I will. Six sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Hey. I'm ready, let's go. My daughter, I don't think I can make it to the show. Ha. <sighs> I'm not feeling fine. Oh, so sorry. How, how exactly are you feeling? Well, it's just that I don't have strength in me. No single strength. Hey, thank God. Mm. So sorry. Is it that bad? Mm -mm. Once I regain my strength, I will come to the shop. Oh, I can't leave you like this now. No, don't worry. Go. Ah. We have to go to the shop, Biko. We must make today's game go. <laughs> go, go to the shop. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Very sure. Your mother is strong. I know. Yes, I'm a strong woman. But I'm just worried about you. Don't worry, please. Go to the shop. Yeah? Mama, but what about food? My daughter, don't worry. I'll take care of myself. Just that I don't have strength. That's all. I'm I'm okay. Oh. Be strong, yeah? How are you? I'm in okay. <laughs> Greet our neighbors, so. I will. Greet our neighbors. <laughs> Tell them I will soon come. Okay, no, I know they will even ask of you. Mm. <laughs> What's happened? 
Your, your mother? My mother? Yes. What happened to my mother? She fainted. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming over to prepare such sumptuous meal for me. You're welcome, son. But if you had a wife, you wouldn't need me to come and make this kind of delicious meals for you. Oh, please. Let's not go there, okay? Please, let me enjoy this meal. I know, son. But you still have to hear it. You are almost 40 and you are not making any move. Mom, I'm just 37. I'm not up to 40. Makes no difference. 37, 38, 35, that whatever is the same as 40 to me. I don't even know why you've refused to settle down. Your two younger brothers are married with kids. But you've chosen not to get married. Mom, please. I did not say I don't want to get married. I'm looking for the right person. And as soon as I see her, I will definitely get married. Really? Yes. So when will that be? Besides, what kind of wife are you searching for? As soon as I see her, I will definitely let you know, Mom. Okay. <laughs> I hope I'm pray too. Yes. Thanks for the meal. You're welcome, son. You live your life, you want to die, then go somewhere and die. I'm sorry. You're man. sorry, sorry about what? Sorry for what? Huh? Sorry for what? You want to kill yourself, go kill yourself somewhere and not here. What's your problem? Are you the only one with the problem? You won't 
understand. Understand what? If I would understand, then why are you here? Why are you on the road? Why you? Why, 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 why would I be on the road? Why? When my mother is dying, do I even deserve to leave when my mother is dying? Mother is sick. Okay? And the doctors have said I need to find 740,000 naira before they even attend to her. How am I supposed to do that? It's okay. It's okay. We'll we transfer to you to your mother. Take me to the hospital and I'm going to clear the bills. Just take me straight to the hospital and I'll clear everything. What did you say? Just take me to the hospital. Please, can you? Please, sorry. Just go. Come. Thank you, sir. We met before. Um, yes. Where exactly? My mother and I sell fruits close to Adebayo Street, and he was asking for direction for Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So it's you. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the other day. Oh, it's, it's fine. I really appreciate it. Fasten passenger Sir. Sir, this is Noye. I'm the one that I'm the one that you helped to pay my mother's hospital bills. Oh, I remember now. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And what about your mother? She's doing very well now, thanks to you. Um, the doctor said that she'll be discharged. Might be discharged today. Thank you, sir.
Sorry, man. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Hey. Hey. My son. Okay. Thank you very much. <sighs> My son, I don't know how to thank you, but Chukwu Kika Biyama, na boyong gemi yekende. See. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. <sighs> Please do not hesitate to call on me if you need anything. Or better still, more you can call me. Hi. Okay, Noe? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank you, my son. Mama, it's all right. It's all right, Mama. Mama, it's okay. You'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, so uh, make yourself comfortable, all right? Thank you. Come on, sit down. Oh! Your house is very beautiful. Thank you very much, please. Um, my mother said I should give you. Your yeah, mother shouldn't have a mother doing this. Oh. All this from her business. Come on, she shouldn't have done this. Anyways. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. But nothing is too much. After everything that you've done for us, I'm me, sad. God will continue to bless you. Uh, uh, no, you have thanked me enough. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, man, you shouldn't have done this. Actually, this is way too much. It's, it's okay, sir. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to deliver the message I will start going now. Uh, at least you should take something before leaving. So what do I offer you? No, no, Not too no. Bad. This is your first visit to my house, so you must take something. I insist. All right. So let me get you something. <laughs> so what do you want? Um, soft or soft? I know. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, let me go with this. It's okay. I'm coming. Just uh, a minute, huh? Mama. Mm hmm. If you see his house. Yeah. Hey, Mama. The house is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's the most beautiful house I've ever seen. Mm. Hey. Okay. So, what happened when you got there? Mm, nothing much. I just gave him the food and we spoke. Hey, Mama. Mm? When I was about to leave, mm. He called me. He said I should type my account number on his phone. I typed it. Only for him to send me this money. Huh? Hey? Hey. You added more money for me for transport. Makaseba moto. This one. <laughs> this one. Just transport to. This man is so nice. <laughs> eh? Hey? Mama, he's a very good man. Um, tell me, is he married? I don't think so. I, I didn't see any wedding picture and he doesn't wear a ring. Hey. Okay, Ma. Mama. Mama. Eh? Why did you ask? Um, both of you. What of you what? Mama, please do. Oh. Come on, Alain. 
but you never have anything. <laughs> So now I know you'll be wondering why I invited you to my house. Yes, I am, sir. There, there, there is something I want to tell you. Something no one knows about. You'll be the the only one to know about this, aside my doctor and I. No one else knows about this. So, you see, years back, I was a. I was on the wall, per se. I lived a reckless life, a very reckless one. I was a chronic womanizer. And along the line, I, I got infected. I got infected with a sexual transmitted disease. And yes, I. I had to go to the hospital to treat myself. But years later, I found out I wasn't properly treated. And in the process, I found out that I am sterile. Yes, I am. I... So I can't father a child. So I... I... But... Why? Why are you telling me all of this? Because I need your help. And that is where you come in. How? I... I am the first child of three boys. Yeah, a wonderful family. My younger ones are, are married. Happily married. And have their own kids, children. And so that makes me the only unmarried one. And a first child of my family. And so my mother. My mother is on my neck. She wants me to bear her children, grandchildren. And I can't tell her this. I, 
I just can't tell her. If I do, I am going to break her and that is exactly what I don't want. And so I don't want to, I don't want to tell her the truth. So now you. Yes, sir. This is where I need your help. You'll get married to me and bear me children, and in return, I will take care of your family. Sapot, how can I bear children if you're sterile? You go out there. Look for any random man. And get pregnant. Mange Josele Kanjebe Yaselem. Mange Josele Kanjebe Yaselem Chai. God Almighty, Namo, I thank you so much for this blessing. Namo, I thank you for wiping away my tears. Namo, Kuya. With this rich in law, we are comfortable. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Mama. Hey, Mama. But I didn't say I've agreed to marry him. You see? You just have to marry him. Yes. He's a nice man. He's a nice person. Gentleman. Or is he not gentle? No, he's gentle. But, but what? But Guinea, I don't want any but. He's gentle, he's rich, he's everything. You just have to marry him. Okay, like if I know him, poverty. No, it's not possible. You must marry him. He's a nice man. I say but. I don't want to hear but again in your mouth. He can have boyfriend one. He to hand your nyabo bundo. He didn't know you were alone. No, 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 Monafu, since the death of your father. Eh? Nonsense. You just have to marry him. Oh. You get married to me and bear me children, and in return, I will take care of your family. But how can I bear children if you're sterile? You go out there. Look for any random man. And, and get pregnant. <gasps> yes. He's a nice man. He's a nice person. Gentleman. Or is he not gentle? But what? But Guinea? My daughter, why are you this worried? Don't be worried about me, oh. Eh? I'll be fine. Don't be worried about me at all. All I need you to do is marry him. I'll be fine. Highest we can do is to look for a house cell. I have a rich in law. Please. Yes, marry him. Don't think about me at all. I'll be fine. I know you're bothered about my health and all that and the shop and them. Um, but no. Don't worry about me. Please, marry him. I'll be fine. Oh? Any wrong one? Hmm? Yeah, hold on, I'm coming. Uh, uh, I accept. 
I accept it. Thank you. to come cook for you in a while now. Hope all is well. All is well, Mom. Um, as you can see, I've been feeling well. You've been feeling well out. Huh? You see why I've been telling you to get married? If you have a wife in this house... Hello? Oh. Hello? Yes. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mom. Uh, uh, Mom. Oh, Mom. Mom, this is a noisy. Not noisy, my, my mom. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Mom. Uh, uh, Mom, I'm sorry I've not been able to come to the house to formally introduce her to you. Noye is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, come here, my daughter. Thank you so much. Comfortable. And I'm see good pimple all over my body. It happens. The house is my own. How? This is your house. And again, all those Jabba that we had in the other house, just forget about them. Look around, everything is set up. As you deserve it. That song they say, Wololo, Wololo, Baba. What is that one that they say, um, uh, landing suffering on the seat? On the sofa. As you land, you land suffering on the sofa. Mama, Mama. Hey, Mama. Mama. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, what is, what is so good about Mama, this house? Mama, is so good. How? Wololo, Okay, so I'll just set the table. Noye. It's time. Time? It's best to start early. But we've only been married for barely two months. No, oh, yeah, the earlier the better. I mean, it's in our only chance that we'll start early. So when are you... When are you seeing your ovulation? Next week. Next week then. But, but I don't even know how to go about it. You just have to look for a random guy and, and get pregnant. But how can I find a man? I don't know. Maybe a club. 
pub and lounge. Or somewhere just get a random guy and uh, let him get you pregnant. But make sure he he doesn't know that you're married. Good morning. I noticed you haven't gone out. Aren't you going to work? Hey. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. You got your shake. Oh my god, your, your, your oh my god, your temperature is so high. What is wrong with you? How are you feeling? How exactly? Tell me, how are you feeling? Oh, it looks so hot. You know what? Let me bring something. Oh my god. Please just try to sit up. I brought you something. Sorry. 
Please just try, try, try. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You know what? I think we need to go to the hospital. No. Oh, we have so to. Well. We have to. I'm, no. I've never seen you like this. Please. Let's. Please. Please, please. Let's see how this will work first. Please feel better soon, okay? Nice, sir. I am not hungry. Are you sure? I mean, the food is very good. I, I took my time to make it. I am not. But, but I... what? Maggie, but what? Must I eat your food? Come on, tell me. Must I eat your food all the time? Don't you get a memo? Besides, I did not marry you to become a chef. No, no. I got married to you as a wife. And we had an agreement. And that agreement is for you to have children for us. On that note, are you pregnant?
my daughter, see how beautiful you are looking. <laughs> In fact, your husband is truly taking good care of you. Thank you, Mama. Hey. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> In fact, I've not asked. How is he doing? He's fine. Just that he's been very busy with work. I understand. I understand. He is too busy and very, very serious in his business. Yes, I know that. <laughs> yes, yes, Mama. Uh -huh. um, any good news? Good news? Yes, good news. I mean, are you pregnant yet? Um, <laughs> oh, that. That? Are you pregnant? My daughter, it's been months now. Yes, it's been months now. And it's always good to start childbearing on time. It's good to start it early. And I really need to carry my grandchildren. Okay, ma? Mama, don't worry. You carry your grandchildren. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, oh, amen. Hey, 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 what can I do? Mama, it's okay. Do you have any food in this house? Uh, uh, why not? If not, go to the kitchen and take food. <laughs> Food is ready. Do you want me to serve you now? Hey. Sit. It's been months now, and you still haven't conceived. I mean, it's something wrong. Is there something I need to know? There's nothing you need to know. Don't worry, I'll get pregnant soon. Okay? okay. I mean, is it that difficult for for you to 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 get pregnant? Is it that difficult? Well, considering the situation, yes. It's that difficult. Extremely so. But you accepted. And you you said you were going to make it work. And that I regret now. Anyways, nevertheless, I'll get pregnant. When? Soon. Are you expecting anyone? No. Are you expecting anyone? No. Um, hold on, who's there? It's me, Mr. Oh my god. Oh my god, I, I hope she's 
didn't hear anything. Oh, I hope so, too. But you know what? I mean, you're going to pretend like everything is okay. Like everything is normal. Yeah, I mean, but everything is fine. Everything is fine, right? Everything. <laughs> so act it. <laughs> right? Yes. Act it. Everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Let's see. So, how about you? You're welcome. I mean, you didn't tell us you're coming. Uh, I wanted to surprise you. Really? You really did? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're welcome. Really taking care of my son. See how fresh he's looking. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mom. Um, in the spirit of that, I just finished cooking. So, you came at the perfect time. Let me just uh, set the table. Right? Oh, this is just feel at home. We are so excited to have you, Mom. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, very well. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, the best thing that has happened. Hmm. My daughter. Hmm. Hmm. You are an amazing cook. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, ma'am. No wonder my son is looking so fresh and getting fat. <laughs> no, I'm not getting fat. <laughs> I'm not. I know you won't accept. <laughs> uh, any update? Update? Yes. I mean, are we coming for any ceremony soon? Um, not yet. But soon. Hopefully very soon. Okay. Right, babe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's um, hope and pray for the good news soon. Amen. Amen. that something is going on. Okay? Come on, let's go to my room and sleep. Uh, see, I, I promise you. Okay, okay. You, you sleep on the bed, I'll sleep on the floor. I, I, I promise I'm not going to touch you. Please. If she sees you here, she'll know something is wrong. Please, I'm begging you. Good morning, my daughter. Yes, sir. How was your night? Fine, thank you. How was yours? Um, fine. Okay. Um, I noticed some clothes in the wardrobe of my room. Oh, Who's... oh, the guest room. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Whose clothes are those? It, I I was one to put them there. It's nothing. I Alex's wardrobe could not contain all our things when I moved in, so oh. I I just left them there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um. So where is Alex? Uh, Mom. Good morning. Good morning, son. <laughs> How was your night? Fine and yours. Just good. You look good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mom. As yeah. usual, you know. I can see. So uh, I should be off to work now. I'll see you when I get back. All right. Uh, do have a great day at work. Yeah. <laughs> have a really nice day. Thank you very much, darling. All right, Mom. Okay. Alex? Oh. Is that how you go off to work? Not even a hug? Not even a kiss to your wife? Ah, you should do better than that, my son. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you. Okay? Yeah. Right. Better. Yes. Mommy, just um, relax. 
Sure. In a bit, I'll, I'll come and serve you. Just listen right there. Hope you're enjoying our... Yes, I am. <laughs> you're really a wonderful girl. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. Um, I just want to say I'm sorry. I mean, for the kiss. If, if I didn't do it, my mother wouldn't have been satisfied. No, it's fine. There's no biggie there. Besides, that's what married couples do. Thank you very much. So, can I serve you dinner now? No, I had something with my clients before coming home. Okay then. Once again, thank you. <laughs> Mom! Yes, but was he really that mischievous? Yes, so he was. <laughs> he was very, very mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't allow this scam to you know, deceive you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> I now see what my son is so angry. Oh. And so, what are you guys gossiping about me? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, you don't want to know. <laughs> it's okay, mom. It's fine. Oh, let me drop you off. Huh? Oh. Eh? My name is Mommy. Please. Just keep being the good girl you are. Thank you. I can see how much you're taking care of my son, even though he doesn't want to accept it. I'm going to take care of that too. See you some other time. Thank you, mom. All right. <clears throat> Oh my God. <laughs> I'll call you, okay? Job time, she said I should greet you again. Right? Yeah, you dressed. What are you up to? Well, I'm going to the club. Oh. Hopefully, we get pregnant this time. I mean, our parents are beginning to ask for their grandchildren. Yeah, that's true. Slept here. And where are you coming from? <sighs> you already know. And it's obviously not a memorable one, so I'm sure I don't have to share the details with you. What details are you? What details are you talking about? I followed you yesterday's night. And 
the so-called club you usually go to is actually your mother's house. And I'm here. Feeling so bad. So bad that I'm putting you through all this. Why in reality? I wasn't putting you through nothing! I wasn't! So why didn't you tell me? Why did you accept? Huh? Why did you accept my offer when you know you weren't ready for it? Why? Go ahead and answer me! God damn it! I'm sorry! Go I, and answer me! I just couldn't do it. You just couldn't do it, so why didn't you tell me? Why? I didn't know how to tell you. So why did you just leave? Why did you just leave? What are you doing here? Why are you still here? You made me go through taking care of your mother. Taking care of your family. That is my own part of the bargain. Why did you get to your mother? Because I love you. Okay? I do, Alex. I, I couldn't bring myself to sleep with other men. I tried, okay? I tried, but I could not. The very first day that I left here, I tried. But I couldn't see it true. I know. I know that falling in love was not part of the agreement, but I'm sorry. Okay? Maybe I'm just not the right woman for this job. Okay? I'm sorry. Do you know why I... I followed you. I wanted to stop you. I wanted to stop you from going to the club and sleeping with... with a random guy. Because that is not what I want from the woman I truly love. Yes. You are not the only one that has a confession to make here. Do you know for how long I've been fighting with her? What a feeling to have for you. Do you know? And anytime I try, anytime I try to make it fight in it, I just, I just find out that it only gets stronger and stronger. Do you know? I mean, considering everything, considering everything, I, I made you go through.
have you been? I've been so worried. Why did you leave like that? We need to talk. Okay. I went outside to think. And I have come to a conclusion. Which is? Which is, I think it is time for us to go our separate ways. This marriage was a mistake. Yeah. You don't have to worry about your mother. I am still going to take adequate care of her. And for you, I am going to reward you handsomely. I mean, for your time and for every other thing that probably you must have missed. I'll pay you adequately and handsomely. And so you can use the money to establish your life. So, what do we tell our parents cost the divorce? When the time comes, I will look for a story and, and tell them. But I do not want to divorce you. I love you, Alex. And I'm not letting go of us. Us? There was never an us. What we had was a marriage contract. An agreement and that's it, nothing more. <laughs> Don't you get it? But... Hours ago you were professing your love for me. What changed? Nothing. Nothing, absolutely. Just pretend I... I never said all those things. Pretend. <laughs> you know what? I cannot pretend. I know that you love me. I know you love me as much as I love you. Can we just make this work? What work? Big what work? Don't you, don't you get it? Don't you get it? I, I, I... I am trying to help you here. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help you. I'm not good for you. Don't you understand? That is what I'm trying to make you understand that I am not good. For you, I don't deserve you. You don't deserve to be with a broken man. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'm trying to help you. That is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help you. You're every man's dream. You are the kind of woman every man desires to have as a wife. You're not a broken man. But you are what is best for me. You want to know the truth? I don't care if you're sterile or not. I love you regardless. What if you go to a mall with your friends and their kids and their kids keep running to you, bonding with you and at that point in time you, you yearn for your own kids. Will you still love me, regardless? Mm -hmm. 
think you still love me, Regardless. Everything I do, everything I'm doing, I'm doing for us. Good morning. I I made breakfast. Best. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Really? Are you not meant to be packing your things and getting ready to leave this house? Now listen to me. I don't want to go to work and come back and still see you in this house. I'm serious. Have a good day at work, husband. Ooh. So I guess that means I'm having breakfast alone today. still haven't lived. But I never said I was leaving. Um, how was work? Okay. Um, I didn't make dinner. 
because you rejected breakfast. But if you're interested in eating, you can just tell me. I'll make something nice for you, as always. Let me help you. Hey. I like the reason you're leaving. Come on, I don't buy it. Really? No, you don't you get it? Don't you? Come on, it's been days now. It's been days now you're still here. You don't want to leave? Isn't it obvious? <sighs> Can you please just listen to me? Please just listen to me, Noye. Alex, please, stop. Okay, you're hurting me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm really sorry. And I don't. I am trying to save you from me. Please try and understand. Look, stop trying to save me. Okay? I never told you that I needed saving. Alex, we love each other. And that's all that matters. So, he can't get you pregnant. We've decided to adopt. Adoption. When you know you can give birth on your own. Mama, it doesn't matter. No, it matters. They'll be my kids regardless. Mm -mm, it matters. Because they won't be your blood. Okay, but that doesn't matter to me. It matters to me. It matters because you don't know what you're getting yourself into. In fact, it's better you get out of that marriage. Yes. Look, I would do no such thing. I love him regardless. And I've, I've decided to stick with him to the end. But my... What? Nothing, Mama. Now you want me to leave him because of his condition? Have you suddenly forgotten everything that he did for us? No, Ma. When you were sick, he was the same person who paid all of your hospital bills. I didn't come to seek your approval. I just wanted you to know the truth. If you decide to be with me on it, fine. 
But you know what? If you don't, I'll be fine still. My daughter, are you sure you know what you're getting yourself into? And are you sure you're ready for it? You're sure? Yes, Mama. You're sure? Then I don't have a choice than to accept. Yes. Your happiness matters a lot to me. That was why you didn't want to get married. Yes. I'm sorry for disappointing you. I'm also sorry for not telling you the truth. It's okay. So, Nonye knows the truth and still wants to be with you? Yes. I have asked her several times to to leave, but she insisted she was she was still going to stay with me. Hmm. Such a sweet girl. Yeah. So what is the way forward now? Adoption. Yeah. Wait, we, we have agreed to to adopt. It's, it's okay. You are my son. I love you and I will always love you. No matter the circumstance. Thank you so much, Mama. You're welcome, my daughter. And thank you for accepting my son the way he is. Thank you. I will always be there for him. I love you, no matter what. Mm -hmm. 